Hello, Minnesota, and hello, constituents to District 11B. This is State Representative Mary Franson giving you an update on what has been happening here at the state capitol. This week, the budget forecast came out. And if you recall, back in November, when the November forecast came out, the forecast said that we were $876 million to the good, meaning we have climbed out of our de budget deficit with a positive side in our revenue. Yesterday, the new forecast for February came out with an additional $323 million to the good, which means we now have a $1.2 billion budget surplus, which is exciting news because, if you recall, in 2010, we were, we were handed over a $6 billion budget deficit from the DFL. And in less than two years, we were able to pull that deficit from a $6 billion deficit to a $1.2 billion surplus. And this is exciting news for Minnesota. This is exciting news. That means that uh, we've had some stronger than expected revenue forecast. We have had uh, reduced government spending, and we have also had a lower unemployment rate. Minnesota, we are doing this, and we are doing this without raising taxes, and without putting burdensome regulations on our small businesses. And together, together you and I, we are going to continue fighting for Minnesota's future by bringing this economic climate to a more positive state. And I know that together we can do this. Uh, last week, we worked on some welfare reform bills. And here, you know, it's kind of ironic. I'll read you this little, this little funny clip uh, that we got from a friend. And it says, isn't it ironic that the food stamp program, part of the Department of Agriculture, is pleased to be distributing the greatest amount of food stamps ever? Meanwhile, the Park Service, also part of the Department of Agriculture, asks us to please not feed the animals because the animals may grow dependent and not learn to take care of themselves. Our reform bills are meant to bring people up out of the clutches of poverty. We want to provide a safety net, no longer a safety hammock. And one of the bills Representative Kurt Doubt authored would reduce the amount of time that you could stay on welfare from five years to three years. In three years, I believe that we can get Minnesota's poorest of the poor back up on their feet and moving more toward a prosperous future. In today's world, we have numerous types of abuse. We have physical abuse, verbal, mental, emotional, and sexual abuse. I would like to take this time to highlight sexual abuse against children. Please visit Demand the Change for Children, Leap Forward for Prevention, and see what you can do to help end the sexual abuse and exploitation of children. Thank you for your time and thank you for, for your patience as we move Minnesota forward.